Good day, Royal fans. Welcome back to the channel. Today's top story. Meghan Markle tears up as she embraces loyal staff she will probably never see again. When the door closed on room 1844 at Buckingham Palace, closed and the room was almost emptied of a morning of engagements, Meghan began to visibly cry amongst her household staff. Mr. Scooby revealed the tears that the Duchess had been bravely holding back are free to flow among familiar faces. As she embraces some of the loyal staff, she will most likely not see again. I can't help but feel sad for the dedicated team members, whose tireless efforts to promote the couple's work, launch landmark projects, and deal with their near daily crises brought on by tabloid lies have come to an abrupt end. The royal expert compared the size of the Sussex's staff with that of other royal households, including the Cambridge's team. He wrote, Compared to other royal households, it was a small operation, with less resources than the more sophisticated offices at Clarence House and Kensington Palace. Before adding, in the short space of a year, since setting up Team Sussex had become like a family, looking out for the couple as much as they could. The couple is now claimed to be excited about the freedom to work at a pace that suits them, and while much has been incorrectly speculated about specific commercial endeavours they might be taking on, both Harry and Meghan are eager to get stuck into their work. Meghan and Prince Harry's first non-royal engagement since announcing Megxit was a rumoured million dollar appearance at JP Morgan event. The royal expert claims they will focus on charity work going forward, although it has been questioned how they will pay for their security team that they have said is necessary given their high profile status. Canadians have announced they will no longer foot the bill for the couple's bodyguards, meaning that the British public will most likely be left to pick up the eye-watering sum it will cost for the couple's round-the-clock protection. However, a source told Mr Scooby that leaving the royal family is important for Meghan and Harry to keep safe. It comes as Meghan jetted out of the UK to be back in Canada with baby Archie, as Harry stayed behind to finalise future plans. Meghan, for her final solo engagement, met with 22 scholarship students from the Association of the Commonwealth Universities at Buckingham Palace. Great start to the day, guys. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time with more Royal Juicy News. Goodbye for now.